Right now, a lot of birds are in the middle of flying south for the winter, and that makes it a great time for bird watchers to see some unusual varieties. We're spreading our wings and learning some more about the world of birding. 40% of the world's birds migrate south for the winter. Oh, we have a great blue heron flying overhead. Oh my gosh, they see the cameras, they're such hams. Yes. In the U.S., billions of birds pass over our heads every year as they make that trip, and people migrate to hot bird watching spots nationwide to scope them out. What do you call somebody who does bird watching? They're a birder. We turn to Corey Lycopolis, the Senior Education Coordinator at the Audubon Center in Phoenix, to learn why people like to bird. We have a black Phoebe here just sitting pretty for us. First, he says it's easy to do because you can bird all over. It's something that you can do pretty much anywhere. You can be in a green space like this. You can go birding downtown. You can go birding in your neighborhood. This is a 600 acre restoration area near the Salt River a nice oasis for nesting. A really cool bird is the Rufus Hummingbird. That bird breeds in the Pacific Northwest all the way up into Alaska, and it flies down and winters into Mexico. So that little bird does about a 2,500 mile journey, and it can do almost 500 miles a day. We're standing just two miles from downtown Phoenix, and many cities have green spaces like this. Huge one right there. Yes, that is the Gashawk. Wow. Next, let's learn the proper way to use binoculars. The best thing to do instead of looking down and then coming up with the binoculars, you keep looking at the thing and then you bring the binoculars to your eyes. And then so you're already looking at it. And once you got your binoculars figured out, look for a lifer. That's the one bird that you really hope to see one day. Corey says many people travel here to see the Abert's Toey. I've met people from England and France and Spain that have come to the Audubon Center just to find that bird. Okay, this is amazing. So people are actually getting their passport ready and doing international travel because there's a bird they want to see. Yes. And the lifer he'd like to see? I would love to see a blue-footed booby. That is a bird that is found in the Galapagos and then occasionally into Mexico. But it's a really cool waterfowl that has these bright blue feet. And you're probably gonna have to travel to see it, right? Yes. Okay. Finally, birding can be a great way to meet people. You can go to the National Audubon Society website. You can find a local chapter sanctuary or Audubon Center. Get started there, connecting with people. Check out audubon.org or search for birding groups on Facebook. What is the coolest bird you've seen? I love ospreys, they're a really cool bird. You're gonna find pretty much all over North America and it's gonna be found near water because they eat fish. And that's a closer look at birding.